an abandoned castle nestled in a quiet neighborhood on the shores of Lake Worth, approximately seven miles northwest of Fort Worth, Texas, on the west fork of the Trinity River in northwest Tarrant County. With a connection to Hollywood's golden era, the prohibition of the Roaring Twenties, and legends tell of a ghostly past. Near Carswell Joint Military Base, on Lake Worth down a secluded lane, across from the water's edge rest what appear to be ancient ruins. However, like its history, looks can be deceiving. Construction on the castle was completed in 1938. Its mysterious history would begin a year after the lake was built in 1914. Fort Worth barely out of its Wild West days, where shootouts and Hell's Half Acre were a not so distant memory. Legend tell a farmer who had a small farm where the castle sits today married a woman who went swimming from the dock on their honeymoon and never resurfaced. It is said by locals a ghostly figure can often be seen on the dock's edge on dark nights and foggy mornings. In the 1960s across Old Heron Bay on Greer Island, visible from the castle, the Lake Worth monster was seen by over 100 witnesses on its high bluffs overlooking the bay. Some say it was an escaped circus monkey. Others say it was the legendary Bigfoot. In the Roaring Twenties, Lake Worth was a destination and resort town with restaurants, games, and rides along the boardwalk of Jacksboro Highway, speakeasies, and hideaway bungalows among the piney woods and the lake's sandy beaches. It was here in 1921. With the dust of the Wild West still settling, Samuel Whitty won the land from a Mr. McPherson in a poker game at one of the many speakeasies on the lake shores. The castle designed by Miss Whitting was completed in 1938. It was a luxurious mansion for its time. There's rumored to be a tunnel from the dock under the road to an entry inside the castle. The castle was constructed in the Prohibition era of the 1920s on the shores of a new recreational resort destination the tourists seeking a good time could it be the tunnel was built to help distribute alcohol in the area this could explain the Whitting's wealth and the curse that seemed to follow whoever dwelt here the family called the castle Inverness locally known as Whitting Castle the couple raised their two sons Richard and John on the property until tragedy struck the family in 1951. Samuel Whitting died suddenly, and two years later, John would die in tragic circumstances with a mysterious fire occurring near the time of his death, causing severe damage to the castle. Miss Whitting left the property in 1954, leasing the site to the city of Fort Worth. It would fall into disrepair and neglect. Once open for urban explorers, the site was sold in the 1990s to a private LLC. Currently, the castle appears to be under renovations. It is now fenced off with razor wire and no trespassing signs. If you're taking a late night drive along the lake, pull over and look to the dock, disappearing into the dark waters. And tell me, what do you see?